Hello there. I've been glazing up the B17. I've got this window in and painted. That's really hard to tell in this light, but it is painted. Looks like it's been corked in with a with a pointed stick at this um, close range. I've just got where are you? Where are you? Oh, there you are. I'm not used to this close up. That one's in. Uh, not painted. Not quite finished. And the one that was quite a thing to do is this one here. Now this one is supposed to match the shape of the windbreak at the front end and um, it clearly doesn't. So I've put a little bit of uh, plastic strip <coughs> to bridge across there. I'll fair it in, paint it, stick a gun through it. Um, and it does look, I mean, this is like incredibly close up. It looks, um, I don't know, it looks like a, what's it, a fox's glassy mint rammed in there, if I'm going to be honest. I mean, the inside is even more fun. Hopefully, the crew figure that sits in that notch is going to hide some of that. And also, I could paint uh, paint over it a little bit with uh, the interior colour to hide that. The other windows, I'm hoping to just put some kind of um, liquid clear glazy type stuff in rather than the kit parts. But I'll, I will try the kit parts, see how they fit. So apart from that, well, the guns will all be modified. Mm, come here. Look, they put something grey on a grey background. Enjoy this view of a B17 window for a couple of seconds. That's the breach from the kit. A piece of plastic, uh, plastic. A piece of brass tube drilled, drilled into the breach and inserted. Uh, uh, misses. Right, and on that note, we shall carry on. Uh, I'll probably get a bit further on this. So this will be like the, the first bit of a longer video. Because um, this is uh, Friday night. Friday. Friday the 4th. Friday 4th of April I'm filming this. So uh, I'll crack on a little bit um, further. My plan is to get these fuselage halves together. So I need to uh, get two more gunners in. Waste gunners. Get these, uh, get the other one of those done and dusted. And I would say then it's ready to have the two holes together. Then the fun really begins. Because I can maybe think about banging the wings on and getting something painted properly. All those little patches you see is just random uh, airbrushes of um, silver. Just around the windows. Because my plan was to uh, put the windows in, and it might make it easier to mask if the windows are already painted. Because these windows, they don't fit flush. The plastic, the kit ones, don't quite fit flush with the outside of the kit. A little bit hard to tell, but that's how they are. So I'm thinking, if I can paint that and then just mask that area. And then repaint it again, but uh, we'll see. Uh, and on that note, I shall leave this section, and maybe you'll see another section. Uh, 
All right, then. I need to make three more of these. This just isn't helping really, is it? You can see I've replaced the barrel with a piece of brass tube. It's very small, it's, it's doable, a little bit trickier. The reason I'm doing that is because kit guns are in a bit of a state. For the barrels, the bender, the flasher, which ain't a problem to be fair, but um, it's not a brilliant. So, I need one, two, three, four. I need four of these. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you exactly how I do them. So, obviously. Make a bit of room. Next thing to do is remove that from the sprue. Okay. Now this is probably out of all of them, it's probably the best one. As you can see, look down on it, it's bowels actually it's bent there. It's flashy, it's fake, it's all these things. So, we are simpler. I'm going to remove the barrel at this point, and there's no going back. I'm not sure that's right way around, which it is. Now, where I've removed the barrel, I don't know whether this will show. You can see there's a big splodge of plastic on the end. I need that to be as flat as I can possibly make it. Okay, that's nice and flat. The next thing I'm going to do is... On my pointy thing. So I'll just keep checking this to make sure I've got the right end of it. As there is a little representation of a gun sight. Let's just put that a bit, a bit flatter over. There we go, and then I'm going to tell that now if you'll be able to see this, but um, yeah, I'm going to make a dent. So here we are. Zoom, 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 zoom. Thank you. We're almost nearly ready to put the two fuselage sides together. And for a kit that has no, not a lot of interior detail, it's got a lot of interior detail. I'm just going to do the last two windows there. They need glazing. Um, I've just stopped using the kit parts because they they didn't fit. They, they, you put them in and they they like below the surface on the outside, and they're just a bit pants really. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna show a little trick that um, 
helps you deal with that. But first, I just need to pull this back apart a little bit. So we don't lose anything. So, what I'm going to do, I'm literally going to just use this regular hard no PVA, put some on a top there to use, and where are you? There you go. I'm just going to get a big old blob of this stuff. And it around the window. Maybe you can see that. This looks crazy. Eventually, it will actually. Fill the gap. Almost, almost a little bit more. And there we have it, one glazed window from the outside. It's pretty much fresh. Um, that one's been done in the same way. The door, they're a little bit opaque, that one is. But, you know, not so much, not as. Um, about as opaque as the kit parts, basically. So we get the other one done, let that dry, and then uh, we're looking at putting this uh, fuselage together. Hooray!